All right, we're asked to uh, express 700 meters in terms of yards. <clears throat> uh, the question actually says a rectangular field is 700 meters long. Express this number in yards. And I know that's uh, too small for you to read. Uh, so basically what we have to do is written in bold black print here. Uh, in order to do these conversions, you always need an equivalency. You need something that tells you that relates meters to yards in this case. So you're going to want to refer to your textbook. Um, it's section 111. And again, I know this is hard to read in video, but um, in your textbook, section 111, all right? And then the page that has equivalencies from meters to yards looks like this. And that should give you at least an idea of what it looks like. And the one that we need is specifically says that 10 yards is approximately equal to 9 meters. All right, so this is the equivalency we're going to use. And let's see. All right, so again, this is our equivalency. 10 yard is approximately equal to 9 meters. <clears throat> uh, the reason this equivalency is important is it gives us the relationship between yards and meters. If we know where, if 10 yards is the same as 9 meters, I can write this two different ways now. I could say that ten yards over nine meters, this is equivalent to a one. If you have something over itself, that's equivalent to one. Or I can say nine meters is equivalent to ten yards. And again, this is equivalent to a 1 because it's the same length. Okay, We're going to use that fact to do our conversion. We have 700 meters. And you just need to remember to put that over a 1. You want this to be a fraction so we can cancel the units here, okay? And now we're going to multiply this times something. And we want meters to be on the bottom so the units will cancel, okay? If I select this fraction, this rational expression, I would have yards on the bottom and my units would not cancel. So I don't want this one. I want this one. So if I write 10 yards over 9 meters, then meters cancel, and I'm left in yards. Now I just do whatever the math tells me to do. So when I multiply 700 times 10, I get 7,000 over 9. I know I kind of shifted it down a little, but I was running into my numbers there. And the units left are yards. Okay. Depending on what you've been asked for, this may or may not be a sufficient answer. I can't really reduce 7,000 over 9 because 9 won't go in there evenly. The directions call for you to type an integer a proper fraction or mixed number. So we are going to have to change this to a mixed number. In order to do that, this is 7,000 divided by 9. I might be running out of room here a little, so I have to push up. So here is 7,000 divided by 9. goes into 70 six times. 
No, it goes in seven times and that's 63. So it goes in seven times. Seven times nine is 63. When you subtract, you get a seven. You bring down your next digit. Nine goes into 70. Seven times gives us 63. Seven left over. Bring down the next digit. Nine goes into 70. Seven times. Seven left over. I've used up all my digits, right? And they want a mixed number. So that means this seven right here, we'll see if we can make that a blue seven. That seven is the remainder, okay? You write that as your numerator and you keep this nine right here that you were divided. Remember this was your denominator? Well, it's still the denominator, okay? So 777 and 7 ninths is the correct answer. Um, our units are yards. I'll zoom out a little bit. And in Course Compass, you'll have to click on um, the tools box on the left, and there's one that indicates a mixed number. You would have to click on the mixed number and then enter that.